Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, or maybe even good evening, depending on where you are today. Um, Calibra, thank you very much for offering this opportunity for us to present our case. Shoshet and myself, we were, of course, looking forward to present this story in person in New York today. But although that's not possible, um, we're still very excited to uh, take this virtual stage and uh, present our story. It is about data governance at ASML. And for those who don't know ASML yet, we prepared a little video that uh, shows our world. Let's have a look. So that's our world. Actually, we are producing the machines that our customers use to produce microchips. And they are all around us. You have seen it in a movie. And it's very likely that uh, the equipment that you are using today to watch this presentation contains microchips that are produced with the help of ASML equipment. When I started six years ago at ASML, uh, it was in one of my first weeks that I talked to a field engineer who explained to me how difficult it was to uh, collect and gather the data that he needed to prepare for a successful installation. And it was really very basic data that he was looking for, like the, the weight or the dimensions of these uh, pieces of equipment. And it was very hard for him to find that, uh, to find where it was, what it meant. And that is really when we started to build a foundation for data management and data governance. If we look at the data that we use internally within ASML, um, we can really divide it into two major types. You can see that here. Um, first of all, it's, it's a lot of data that we use to support and run our business processes. Um, we are using multiple applications uh, within ASML to run our business. And uh, those applications, of course, need data. And you see some examples like customer, employee, vendor, material information, all needed to run the business. Um, those applications also share the data. So that's why it's very important for us to have clear definitions on what the data means, how it's used, how it's used in the several applications, and that it seamlessly flows through the business processes. The other type of data that we have is the machine data, the installed base that generates data every day and provides us with diagnostic data and performance data of the machines. And that's important for us to feed it back into the engineering process where we can improve the engineering and the performance of our data, our products. Um, on the other hand, it also feeds back into the customer service processes to improve the service that we provide. So both types of data uh, we use, and it's all stored in data lakes. Um, and that we use, of course, for data analytics and, uh, and reporting. Well, it goes too far in this uh, session to explain exactly how we are doing the uh, analytics, but uh, we will say, have to save that for another occasion. Um, regardless of what kind of data that we are looking at, um, we designed a way of looking at data management and data governance. We call it the data management framework, and it's uh, designed by our center of excellence, which is a central organization, but in close cooperation with the sectors and the business lines. 
And this uh, framework is really kind of a skeleton that helps us to uh, design and build data management and data governance processes and have that embedded in our, uh, our organization. The framework consists of uh, seven major components. Um, I will not explain all of them in detail, but uh, some of them are worth mentioning. The standards and definitions, for instance, um, are very important that we know exactly what the data means that we are using, how it is set up, who is the owner, who is maintaining it, how does it flow through the processes and through the applications. Another component, of course, is the processes for creating and maintaining the data. Um, we have built workflow applications to maintain the most important master data that we use in our applications. And that's running uh, throughout the company, ASML-wide. The last topic that I would like to mention here is uh, the people and organization component. That is that we have set up uh, several global data management and data governance roles that clearly define what we expect from those people. Uh, examples are data owner, uh, data domain managers, data stewards, report owners. We have uh, defined what that means from a uh, uh, from an accountability point of view, responsibility point of view, and what kind of key activities that we expect from those people. Um, this is a framework, and uh, as we speak, we are turning that into a real methodology where we can translate those components into clear activities, deliverables, and um, uh, the, uh, templates that we use while implementing the framework within the company. Um, given the time, uh, I think this is a good point to hand over to Georgette who is going to explain to you how we are uh, embedding data governance with the help of Calibra within our organization. Georgette? Thank you, Geert, for handing over. My name is Georgette van der Ende, and I would like to tell you something about how does ASML apply Calibra data governance? So as you heard from uh, Geert in his story, uh, the data management framework plays an important role if it comes to our components with which we manage data. Questions that play a role in ASML, like who is the owner of the data and what is the definition or what are the business rules? And actually there was a strong need within ASML to have a source of truth and a repository on data definitions. And that's when Kulipa came into the picture for ASML. And what you can see also from this picture here is that Colibra offered a solution which is very user friendly. So in only two clicks, our business users can have a full 360 view on their metadata management. So from the technical lineage towards the ownership, but also definitions and related business processes. This is currently how we implemented Colibra data governance within ASML. But let's have a look at the future. What are we planning to do? So for this year, and also for the coming years, we want to focus on embedding the data governance extension. So the common ground for the single source of truth for metadata management, we want to extend, especially in those areas of the business where the maturity is not that high yet. On the other hand, if we look at some business domains where the maturity has grown in the last years, we want to introduce more enterprise gate capabilities but also data stewardship. And for the long run, we will focus on more lineage and GDPR related topics. This is our Colibra roadmap at ASML. But now let's see how actually the benefits develop from the common ground and what lessons we learned. So lessons learned from our data governance implementation. There are a few I want to highlight here because I think that uh, one of these, like competence growth, is very important to share with all of you. So regular outside in sessions, make sure that passion about data management is shared around the table. Not only from a data management perspective, but also from the change management perspective that goes hand in hand. One of our recent reference visits was with Heineken. You all know Heineken, right? 
So we came to the conclusion in our reference visit that either when you're brewing beer, are you making uh, chip manufacturing machines like ASML? The concept of data management has very much similarities regarding the opportunities and the challenges. Further, we focus on prioritize on business demand. What we mean by that is actually that if you look at a certain domain for ASML, like the product data domain, we see that this is just a red line through our company. And there are many stakeholders involved. So for these kind of domains, it's very crucial that business KPIs are linked to the data KPIs. And this is also needs to be transparent. As a third highlight, I want to elaborate on integrated solutions. So nowadays we hear a lot about business capabilities and data management should be one of them together with architecture, people and processes. If we look at the benefits that data management brought to us and data governance, we can clearly conclude that the common ground for having a source of truth, one understanding for our employees regarding the questions they have, either it's about ownership, business rules or definitions, we establish that common ground. Another benefit will be in the near future that our analytics will get better and better because of this fundament. This is just in short how we applied Colibra and how we implemented data governance. If you want to know more about ASML, about us, about how we did it, about our journey, please feel free to contact us. Thank you very much.